this is again a study of uh, same patient, but uh, anyway, because this is a separate segment, this is a mid-cycle retroflexed uterus, this is a mid-cycle, this is the mid-cycle retroflexed uterus with small amount of fluid in the pelvis sac, which is post-ovulatory fluid, and uh, the uterus Myers patient is nulliparous, 6.5 centimeters by 2.7 centimeters, which is within normal. There is no focal lesion seen in the myometrium. This is the cervix. This is the cervical canal. This is the vagina. This is how you align the uterus while studying the uterus. This is the posterior myometrium, posterior wall, post ovulatory fluid, and uh, the endometrial canal, you see, is my ears. Approximately 10.9 millimeters. So this is a post-ovulatory fluid in a retroflex uterus in mid-cycle. Now here we see in the region of the right adnexa, we see a cystic area. This is a, now this is the transfer section of the uterus with mid-cycle uterus, aware endometrial canal. This is the transfer section. And now this is a cystic area in the region of the right adenexa that measures twenty four point one millimeters. Now remember that uh, anything between uh, up to if you see a cystic area in the ovary, this is also in the ovary, right ovary, the dominant ovary in this cycle. Uh, up to 14 millimeter, if you see a cystic area of this nature that is up to uh, 14 millimeters, then it will be considered as a dominant follicle. Anything between uh, that is uh, uh, 24 to 5 millimeter, uh, centimeters or 24 to 50 millimeters, 2.4 to 5 millimeters will be. Uh, I'm sorry, 2.14 uh, to up to 14 uh, millimeters will be considered as a dominant follicle about to rupture. Whereas uh, anything from 14 millimeters above up to 24 millimeters, as we are seeing here, will be called as a follicular cyst, not a dominant follicle. Dominant follicle range is up to 14 millimeters from 14 millimeter to 24 millimeter is the uh, follicular cyst. So this is a follicular cyst, basically simple, no uh, internally clear, no calculi, no calcifications, no internal echoes, no septa, no solid element, and uh, it is uh, well thin, it is thin wall. Posterior wall enhancement is seen, and uh, okay, now anything, that is with any cystic area that you will see above 2.4, measuring 2.4 centimeters to 5 centimeters will be called a retention ovarian cyst. So first, for up to 14 millimeter uh, is the dominant follicle. From 14 millimeter to 24 millimeter is the uh, follicular cyst. From uh, 24 millimeter to 50 millimeter will be the uh, retention ovarian cyst and anything above 50 or 5 centimeters will be called as ovarian cyst. So these, uh, this is the differentiation of different types of cysts that one may come across uh, during ultrasound, female pelvic ultrasound in the region of the adnexa. Now I am moving the probe to see if the cystic area changes its shape or remains the same. Now you see it has gone towards the left side. It has gone towards the left side and uh, no change is seen in its shape. So cysts are all, all cyst always maintain its shape. This is a follicular cyst with uterus in mid cycle. Here we see this is a follicular cyst. Why? Because it is it measures 2.4 centimeters. Anything from 14 to 20, 24 
or 2.5, uh, 1.4 to 2.4 centimeters will be labeled as a follicular cyst. Above 2.4 to 5 is a retention ovarian cyst, and above 5 centimeters is the ovarian cyst. Now, this is the posterior wall acoustic enhancement. This is the acoustic enhancement posterior to this system. So this uh, segment study is to, was to help you uh, to study how different cysts will appear and how we can label them. Now as you can see again repeating, this cyst did not change its shape, is rather thick wall. See the posterior wall acoustic enhancement, this one, bright ecogenic area posterior to the wall. So, and I'm repeating once again that any cystic area clear internally uh, ranging from up to 14 millimeters will be considered as a dominant follicle. Anything between any cystic area ranging in size uh, from 1.4 centimeters to 2.4 centimeter will be a follicular cyst as you are seeing in this case. This is a follicular cyst simple follicular cyst and anything between 2.4 to 5 uh, centimeters will be considered as a retention ovarian cyst. More than 5 centimeters will be considered as uh, a true ovarian cyst. So this is the study in this uh, and because the patient has ovulated, this is the small amount of fluid seen in the direct